During my trauma healing journey, I spent way too much of my life living in my masculine energy because I always felt the need to protect myself. And as I've gotten older and as I've healed more and let go, I've had to learn how to settle into my feminine energy. And I wanted to share the top things that have helped me to become more feminine and to have a softer energy and stop living in my masculine energy, which most of us traumatized eldest daughters do. The first thing is that I had to let go of the guilt of wanting to feel and be beautiful. Some people are not happy when you look good, when you feel good, and because you know they're not happy about that, you make yourself small and you make sure that you do not look your best in order to stay out of trouble and to repel any envy, jealousy, and negative vibes. You need to come to a point where you learn how to protect yourself energetically, where you are no longer afraid of who is envious of you, who is jealous of you, who is sending you evil eye because you know it has no effect on you. And once you do that, you're able to come into your full femininity and fully beautify yourself without fear of what other people think, say, or perceive about you and also you need to let go of the guilt of wanting to feel beautiful as a woman that's one of the most <laughs> that's one of the top things we have on our list we want to look desirable and we want to feel desirable we want to feel attractive so whatever practice and ritual that you want to do that makes you feel beautiful whether that's doing your hair your makeup your skincare routine your nails or dressing well whatever it is for you do it it will heal you so much and the more permission you give yourself to be beautiful and to embrace your feminine energy the more other women will also feel that they can do the same and we can stop this idea that women are always competing with each other another woman's beauty does not take away from yours and yours also does not take away from anybody else so embrace your beauty highlight it and do not be afraid to shine in a previous video i mentioned that going to gym and lifting weights has helped me with weight loss and all of that but the longer i stayed in the gym the more i resented it and I recently started doing low impact exercises in particular, such as Pilates, rebounding, and even more yoga. And I realized that my body is completely loving it. And I feel way, way better in my body. And it's also helping to balance my hormones. After further reflection, I don't think that gym and lifting heavy weights is for everybody. I know it has the benefits, especially when, as you get older, to prevent uh, the loss of your bone mass and all of that. And of course, by all means, lift weights maybe once or twice a week, but we don't have to stress and strain ourselves and it doesn't have to be done at a gym. So I highly recommend that you try some low impact exercises. Even if it's just 10 minutes of Pilates, I promise you it's making a difference for me. There was a time where I felt so depressed and I just didn't have a positive outlook on life. And I had a tendency to reach for my black clothing all the time. It's not a conscious decision that I made. I just noticed that when I was really, really down and when the abuse was at its highest level, I always wore black. They say that wearing black also protects you from negative energy, but the more I release fear and the more I'm encouraging you to do the same, I highly recommend that you bring more color and patterns and textures into your wardrobe because when you look good, you feel good. <laughs> and this is something I'm also still working on to look good and feel good every single day, whether anyone is going to see me or not, whether I'm going anywhere or not. Just take pride into your appearance because it's not about who's going to see you. You are going to see you every time you walk past the mirror and you don't need to dress up for anyone. Dress up for you because you honor yourself and you love yourself. I stopped wearing jeans. 
This is something I stopped wearing years ago. I didn't know that it was helping me to feel more feminine, but I just can't stand jeans. They are so uncomfortable and I feel so restricted in them. Stop wearing tight clothing that makes you feel uncomfortable because you're trying to create a certain shape. Allow your body to be free, especially on days where you really don't need it. I just don't feel that there's any day that you do need it. Your body is beautiful the way it is. I stopped wearing extensions and started embracing my natural hair. This has been a long, <laughs> a long journey because as a black woman, we start with relaxer, maybe we go natural, but even if you're natural, you're gonna wear wigs, you're gonna experiment. And I'm not saying that I don't anymore. I'm saying that this hairstyle, especially the sister locks has really helped me to see and embrace my natural beauty and to no longer see my hair as a burden and such a pain to do because every day I wake up and it's already done. Yes, I need to retie every four to six weeks, but even that is a labor of love because I've learned to do it myself. I've also seen a lot of women saying that they're no longer wearing extensions because of the energetic implications and the spiritual implications and the ethical implications that we are now discovering. It's a shame that none of us thought about this before, but now that we have social media and we're seeing how the hair is collected and shaven from someone's head, it really changes your perspective on hair extensions. Not for everyone, and I'm not saying that wearing them is bad because trust me, you will see me with extensions again on this channel. <laughs> I do enjoy changing my look, but what I'm saying is change your perception and your relationship with your natural hair. It will really help you to see your femininity, especially after years and years of being programmed that our African hair is not beautiful and not feminine. Embracing my natural menstrual cycle. There was a time in my 20s I used the birth control pill and that really messed me up. In a very short amount of time, my moods were different. I was like a completely different person. And embracing my natural cycle has helped me to be more balanced. As much as I've had my, my issues with my cycle, at least I am connected to my body and I can read what's going on because our period is our fifth vital sign. Depending on the clots you have, the color of the blood, the frequency of your cycle, you can tell so much about what's going on with your health and what more can tell you about your feminine health than your period. Romanticize your daily habits and your daily living. Whether you're doing laundry, cooking, cleaning, don't look at it as chores, but look at it as a privilege. You have a home, you have water, you have utensils, you have time you do these things by dropping into your feminine energy whenever you do it and remind yourself what a privilege it is to be able to make your own food, to clean your own clothes, to clean your own house and to have a home. Romanticize it all instead of seeing it as a pile of tasks that you need to do. Be thankful that you have them and that you have a body that's able to do them. And if you have help to do them and you employ someone to do those things for you, that's also another reason to be thankful. Thank you so much for being here and see you soon.